today let's see how to do question number 5 check whether 6 raised to n can n with the digit 0 for any natural number n let's see how to do this we know that natural numbers ending with digit zeros are 10 20 30 40 etc then uh, three digits are 100 uh, 100, 100, 110, 120, like that, 200, 300, 1000, like that, it is going on. Now, first we can just factorize some of these numbers ending with 0. So, let us see what are the prime factors coming. 2, 5, 5, 1. So, for 10, it is coming 2 into 5. Now, let's see for 20, 2, 10, 2, 5, 5. So, for 20 it is 2 into 2 into 5. For, no, for 30, 2, 15, 3, 5. So, for 30 it is 2 into 3 into 5. Like that, let us see one more. Let us see for 100, 2, 50, 2, 25, 5, 5, 1. So, for 100, it is 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 5. So, C, for the natural numbers ending with zeros, the prime factors are 2, 5 and 3 also here. So, all these digits, in all these digits, 2 and 5 is common. Here, 2 raised to 1 and 5 raised to 1. Here, 2 square and 5 raised to 1. Here only 2. Let it power be anything. But 2 and 5 is common in all these numbers. That means the natural number ending with 0. Having the prime factors 2 and 5 common. 2 and 5 is common in all these numbers. Now let us see the prime factors of 6. 2 and 3. So 6 is 2 into 3. Here 6 raised to n, that is 2 into n is any natural number. 2 into 3 raised to n. So, there is no 5 in 6 prime factor. So, we can conclude that the prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3. If a number ending with 0, it should have prime factor 2 and 5. And 5 is not a prime factor of given number 6 hence 6 raised to n or 6 raised to n cannot end with digit 0 because 6 do not have prime factor 5 so 6 raised to n cannot end with digit 0 this is just we are proving this using the example that's it for the for 6 there is no prime factor 5 so but for the digits ending with Natural number ending with the digit 0 must have a prime factor 5. Hence we can write like this. The prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3. If a number ending with 0, if a number ending with 0, it should have prime factors 2 and 5. 2 and 5 is common in all these numbers. But 5 is not a prime factor of the given number 6. 5 will not come as a prime factor. Hence 6 raised to n cannot end with digit 0. Next question number 6. Explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. We have to explain that these two numbers are composite numbers let's see how to do this before explaining the answer i will just recall prime numbers and composite numbers prime numbers are 2 3 5 etc prime numbers have only two factors for 2 1 and 2 is the only factor for 3 also 1 and 3 like that the numbers having only Two factors the number and one itself is called a prime number composite number means it is having more than two factors for example for four 
1 into 4 equals 4, 2 into 2 equals 4. So the factors are, factors are 1, 2 and 4. Factors, see more than 2 factors, 1, 2 and 4. For example, I will choose another number, 9. So the factors are 1 into 9 equals 9, 3 into 3 equals 9. So the factors are 1, 3 and 9, more than 2 numbers. So these type of numbers are called composite numbers. Composite numbers means it has more than 2 factors. Here we, can, we are going to show this as a composite number. We are going to write this as a composite number. First, we can take this as one term and this as the another term, second term. Now, both the first term and second term, you can see 13 is common. Here 13 and here also 13. So, first take 13 outside and write like this. When we take 13 from here, remaining is 7 times 11 plus here 1. Now, we can multiply this 13 this is 7 times 11 is 77 plus 1 which is equal to 13 into 78 now 13 is a prime number now we can factorize this 78 2 3 2 are 6 and 9 2 are 18 9 twos are 18 so now this one we can factorize it with 3. 3 plus 9 is 12. 12 is a multiple of 3. So we can factorize it with 3. 1, 3. Now 13 is a prime. So we can write this as 13 into 2 into 3 into 13. Now see, we write this number as a composite number. Composite number means what? It has more than two factors now see 13 2 and 3 there are more than two factors so this number is a composite number hence we can write given number have more than two factors so it is a composite number here there are more than two factors therefore it is a composite number now the next one also let's see how to do it here also we can take this as one term and this as the second term. Now here 5, here also 5. So take 5 common, 5 outside and write like this 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1 which is equal to 5 into 6 7 are 42. 4 3s are 12, 12 2s are 24, 24 and 1, 24. Multiply it. 4 2s are 8, 4 4 are 16, 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8. Add it. 6 plus 4, 10. 8 plus 1, 9 plus 1, 10. 1008 plus 1, which is equal to 5 into 1009. Here, 1009 is a prime number, so that only 1 and 1009 are the factors here 5 is also a prime so two primes we get that means this number we can write it as a composite number because we get more than two factors other than 1 1 and 5 and here 1 and 1009 so we get more than two factors therefore this number is a composite number Therefore, we can write since the given number has more than two factors, so it is a composite number. Here, 1 and 5 and 1 and 1009. So, the factors are 1, 5 and 1009. It has more than two factors. Next question number 7. There is a circular path around a sports field. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round of the field. While Devi takes 12 minutes for the same. Suppose they both start at the same point and at the same time and go in the same direction. After how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point? Here 
let this be the circular path and this be the starting point. Sonia take 18 minutes to complete one round and Revi takes 12 minutes to complete one round. From this we know that Revi is more faster than Sonia. So we have to find out after how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point. That means at this point after how many minutes they will meet. We know that they will meet in some other points because Devi is more faster so when he is overtaking Sonia he is definitely meeting her in some of some in some place but we need to find at this place exactly at the starting point now for this for completing the first round Sonia will take for completing the first round Sonia will take 18 minutes and Devi will take 12 minutes for the second round Sonia will take 18 plus 18 which is 36 and Revi will take 24 minutes for completing the third round Sonia will take 54 minutes and 18 plus 18 plus 18 12 plus 12 plus 12 24 plus 12 which is 36 for completing the fourth round she will take 72 minutes 54 plus 18 36 plus 12 that is 48 so like that it is going for completing the rounds they are taking for, for completing the first round she is taking 18 while Devi is taking 12 minutes only now see for completing the second round that means that that time she will reach here the starting point at uh, 36 minutes she will reach the starting point and Revi also reaches the same time 36 minutes after 36 minutes he also reaches the starting point so they will meet at 36 minutes at the starting point this is our answer but we are not going to do in this method here this is the multiple of 18 and this is the multiple of 12 and 36 is the least common multiple least common multiple means lcm so in this question we are going to find the lcm of 18 and 12 and we will get the answer this is not the method this is just for your for you to understand how you are getting lcm how you are finding lcm how you came to know that you are going to find lcm so in this type of questions you need to find the lcm least common multiple so here we are going to find out a lcm of 18 and 12 first we can factorize 18 2 9 3 3 1 factorize 12 2 6 2 3 3 1 18 we can write as 2 into 3 2 times so 3 raised to 2 and 12 equals 2 2 times 2 raised to 2 into 3 now how we can find the least common multiple lcm is the product of the greatest power of each prime factor involved in the numbers here 2 is involved in both and the greatest power is 2 raised to 2 so take that 3 is also involved in the two numbers and the greatest power is 3 raised to 2 2 raised to 2 is 4 and 3 raised to 2 is 9. 3 3 are 9. 9 4 are 36. So we get our answer as 36 minutes. So this is the method you have to follow. You have to write the LCM of eight and 18 and 12 and find the answer. This method, no, no need, only this one. So you can write they will meet after 36 minutes.